MNI Presidential Debate 2022. The first question will come from UP Professor Dr. Clarita Carlos. Hi, good evening everyone. Thank you so much for the four presidential candidates who had both the political commitment and the political courage to be part of this conversation. My area of research and expertise is on foreign policy and defense and security, so my first question will be within the rubric of these issue areas. All right. If the Quad were to become a collective security alliance, you as our country's chief ex architect of our foreign policy, are you going to make the Philippines as a member of the Quad? Why and why not? Senator Marcos? Yes, I think uh, any of these agreements we should, of course, encourage, as long as it is very clear to us what is the advantage to the Philippines. Um, the, what the professor just mentioned was uh, she spoke about the uh, great powers trying to carve out spheres of influence. I reject that model that uh, I, I believe no longer, ex no longer applies in the geopolitics of the modern world. Uh, the old Cold War thinking. Uh, we have to ply our own way. And so it really would depend on what is, 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 is inside, or what, the, what those agreements uh, say that uh, the Philippines what will be doing and what those other partners of ours will be doing for the Philippines. And once again, uh, because uh, we shouldn't think of, of the old Cold War system, we should always think in terms of the fine line that the Philippines has to tread in our, all our foreign policy, uh, policy decisions. But if... Uh... Mr. Marcos, if you reject the concept of spheres of, uh, of uh, influence, does that mean you are going to scuttle the mutual defense treaty no. when you become president of the no. republic? By, by no you means. Link to by the no United means. States of America as a defense no, ally. No, no. By no means. The, the, the relationship with the United States, our special relationship with the United States, is not something that we can treat uh, uh, be, be, be cavalier about. It is a very important one. And it has stood us in good stead for over 100 years. And uh, that, I think, will never uh, disappear from the Philippine psyche, the idea and the memory of what the United States did for us and fought with us in the, in the last war. And so that is, that is a, a specific part of our uh, foreign policy. But then as we approach, we know that uh, we are a hot spot right now. The West Philippine Sea is a hot spot in geopolitics right now. And that is why uh, we still have to find our own line uh, in terms of uh, in terms of all of these uh, all of these arrangements. Except the, the one simple principle is that we will not cede one square inch of the Philippines to any country. Um. Karen, do I have time for uh, one more follow-up uh, with Mr. Marcos? Yes, Professor Carlos. Yeah. Okay. Um, if that is the stance that you have taken, Mr. Marcos, um, suppose you have a situation where China is trying to, you know, take us in, embrace us within its sphere of, of influence. How would you react as our chief uh, architect of our foreign policy? Once again, uh, we, in, in terms of specifically to China, um, the, uh, the correct approach still seems to be one of engagement. And uh, no matter what the superpowers are trying to do, we have to work in the interest of the Philippines. And we cannot allow ourselves to, um, uh, to, to uh, be part of the foreign policy of any other country. And we have to have our own foreign policy. So again, whatever the superpowers do, we as uh, a, a, a highly strategic uh, geographic, uh, are, are highly, having a highly strategic geographical location in the world, uh, really have to walk that very, very fine line between these great powers who, uh, and I always say, these are great powers we are in between. If they sneeze at the same time, we disappear from the map. And that is something that we always have to keep in mind. Thank you. Our next question will be coming from Attorney Rolex Suplico. Attorney, your question, please. Madam, Karen. 
ngayong gabi sa tanan. Isyo po ng kahit kaninong administrasyon, ang korupsyon. Na tinatansyang may epekto sa mahigit kumulang 20% ng budget ng pamalaan kada taon. Ngayong magkakaroon ng bagong Pangulo, kailangan muling iakyat sa talakayan ang pagnanais na matigil ang pangungurakot sapagat ang isang malinis na gobyerno ay nagsisimula sa isang tapat at marangal na Pangulo. Kung kayo po ay magiging Pangulo, una, kusa mo bang ilalabas o hindi sa publiko ang iyong salen or statement of assets, liabilities and net worth, at pangalawa, kusa ka bang magsasagawa ng waiver sa mga provision ng RA 1405 na nagbabawal sa pagpaalam sa publiko ng laman ng inyong mga bank accounts? This question will be first answered by Senator Bongbong Marcos. Well, sa, sa issue ng pagbigay o ng salin, ay eh, ako, para sa akin, hindi problema yon. At uh, kaya, kaya, hindi lang ako naka, nagsusulat ng salin for the last six years. Pero kung ako ay uh, maging, uh, ma maging mapalad sa darating na, sa darating na halalan, ay eh, natural, ay eh, kailangan gagawa ng salin at ito ibibigay eh, ko sa publiko paghihingin sa akin. Ngayon, sa aking palagay, yan ang desisyon ko bilang isang individual. Sa aking palagay ay hindi na kailangan palitan ng batas at uh, nasa, sa, nasa sa bawat opisyal na yan kung sila ba ay handa na ilabas ang kanilang, uh, ang kanilang salin. At uh, siyempre dadagdag ko kung may kaso na may court order na sasabihin ilabas ang salin ay kailangan talagang ibigay. Pag na-mandate ng isang korte, eh, maliwanag na talagang, eh, talagang ibigay at eh, uh, ipalaman. Sa sarili ko lamang, eh, para, para maging maliwanag, kapag ako ay susulat muli ng salin, ito ay gagawin kong public information. Thank you, Senator Marcos. So, Karen, follow-up question. Of course. Papayag ka bang i-require ang inyong immediate family, asawa at mga anak na ilabas na magperma ng waiver sa provisions ng RA 1405? I think we have reactions from Secretary Marcos. Uh, sorry, Senator Marcos. Sa aking palagay, kung sino ang, uh, kung sino ang nasa, bat, na, nasa batas na sinasabi kailangan sumulat ng salin, ay eh, kung nasa sa kanya, kung sila ay maglalabas. Ngayon, ang pamilya ko naman ay siguro hindi dahil pamilya ko kailangan magsulat ng salin at kailangan ilabas. Kaya siguro yung aking sinasabi ay lahat na kung may pamilya man ako na nakaupo, na sumusulat ng salin, ay sa palagay ko handa rin sila na ilabas lahat yan. Music